Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are continuing on with our Small Business Spotlight Series, and I have a very special guest joining me in studio today. We're going to be talking about how you can simplify your holiday season. So joining me today is designer, author, and speaker, Holly Germati. Holly, welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited to have you and have you here in person. This is really fun because normally um, we're connecting live over Instagram. And so it's really fun to be able to like see you in person. It is. It is. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us. And so you are, you're a designer, you are an author, you do speak. Speak. Um, you're a speaker, so like you're kind of multi-talented here, and um, you're going to be joining us today to talk about how to simplify, how we can simplify our holiday seasons. But then we're going to have you coming up in 2022. Um, you're going to be kind of a regular, a regular guest, and we'll get into that later. But I'm very excited to have you joining the program. Yeah, so. thank you. I'm thrilled so. to be here, and uh, I'm super passionate about helping people simplify their life. Yes, that's, I think it's so important because we get so caught up. There's so many different things, especially now. I don't, I mean, when we were younger, I feel like there wasn't as much. And now there's just like time just flies by and thing, there's just so many things. And um, so, yes, the way we can simplify more, we can simplify the better. So, yeah, yeah. So. For me, just like with personal experience, I have five kids, uh, two sets of twins. So, I started the simplification of the holidays, especially, yeah. uh, you know, about 12 years ago yeah. when my kids were all little because I just had a really stressful couple of years and I just decided, okay, enough is enough. What can I do to just bring back the joy? Right. I love the holiday yes. season. I love December. Growing yes. up, it was my favorite and my happiest memories. And I just, I'm passionate about making those memories with my family now. Yes. And I know, I think it, it's so important to be able to enjoy the holidays. And so many of us get bogged down in the work surrounding yes. the holidays yes. that we don't necessarily always enjoy them. So I love that you're here today to talk about some ways that we can simplify the season so that yes. we can actually enjoy it. So, all right. um, so, all right. So what is your first tip? What's the, okay. what's the best way? Like what's, what's something we can do to simplify? Okay. So, you know, we're thinking we're heading into Thanksgiving, yep. uh, into December, you're looking at your calendar and everyone's already like, oh my gosh, I have this, I have that. I have like, there's always too much. And then there are people on the social radar where everyone comes out in December. Everyone wants to get together. <laughs> right. And, you know, so I'm, I just want to encourage you to give yourself permission to say no. Okay. Think, just take a few, take, take an afternoon in November and just think about what really brings you the most joy okay. and, and focus on those things. Make time in December for the things that bring you and your family and your loved ones joy. Okay. And if it doesn't bring you joy, if it brings you stress in any way, yeah. you have, if COVID has taught us nothing, <laughs> then, you know, you can say no, you yeah. don't have to do everything. You don't have to attend everything. And people I think most people are in a place where they will be a little more forgiving and understand. Right. I think that's a hard thing. So many of us have have a hard time saying no or I can't get together or and and what is it anyway about December that all of a sudden like that's when we need to get together? I mean, if we can't do it or it's going to be too stressful in December, mm -hmm. we can say, "Hey, how about in February?" Yes. Yes. Right? So, well, yeah, which brings me to like the second tier of that calendar. Who is still mailing? I mean, whether you do a digital uh, holiday card in December or yes. you're still handwriting, I prefer the handwriting. Yes. But a long time ago, I switched over to Happy New Year cards yes. to just, and then that was just like a really, it became a really special way to start my new year. Yep. And, and then you have all of January in my book to mail out. And, and a bonus is in January, the people that display all their cards of their friends and family. They're taking them all down, and guess right. what? They get you in the mail, and you get like that spotlight. <laughs> you get all like the, way the through prime. Spring. Who you knows? get the prime spot. Yes, yeah. you know what? I have um, at times I have done New Year cards, not as a I did plan it in advance. It was right. a, oh, there's no way I'm going to get these done and out in time. So I guess we're going to do New Year's cards this year. But I love that you're saying. I mean, really, we could give ourselves permission to send it out after the New Year. Mm -hmm. They don't have to arrive. 
prior to the new year. So we actually could have a little extra time to, Absolutely. to get those done. But I love, For I sure. love cards. I love receiving them and I love sending them. Yes. Um, my favorite one is to do, I like to do a, a, either a family photo or a picture of the kids. Yep. So those are fun. Yeah. So, all right. What else? What okay. else can we do? All right. Do? So number two okay. is uh, I'm an interior designer. So of yes. course I have to talk a little bit about holiday decor. Yes. I think there are two, two kinds of people, the people that do it because it's obligatory and the people that are just all out, like they have a tree in every room. <laughs> right, they're right, the, right. You know, they're the Clark Griswold, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Okay. They're the ones who are decorated so, before Halloween for, yes, <laughs> for Christmas. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if you're one of those all in people. One thing you can do is instead of doing the whole house, just do one room. Okay. Go big in one room. That's what I'm doing this year. I'm not personally in all throughout the house, but, uh, you know, I like, like, my kids enjoy, like, the gaudiness of yeah. everything in one room. <laughs> so that's what we do. We okay. go big in one room. For the people who are not so much all over the place, yeah. uh, focus, maybe shift your mindset instead of, like, December, uh, you know, for, go toward winter decor. Okay. So just kind of yes. like dial it back and think about creating like your ambiance that you're going to enjoy all the way through the winter months because it's pretty bleak January, February. Right. So yeah. I say like bring in the red, bring in the plaid. Maybe it's, um, you know, ski sledding and ski pillows or, you know, it's some fresh greens and some lights and some candles and just the yes. things that just create the coziness. That can be your holiday decor. All day long. I love that. I love that because I'm always, you know, my my kids after Christmas and they're like, okay, it's time to take everything down. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> like we we spent all this time putting everything up and mm -hmm. especially over my mantle. Like that is the place yes. that I love to leave that. And I do tend to leave it up longer. But I love, um, you know, your suggestion to make it more of a winter theme mm -hmm. so we can remove some of the elements that are specific to the holiday and just have it be so that it, it actually fits for the, the winter season. Yeah. And you can so. introduce it now. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, yes. So it just, it should just ease into your December so that your December is really more about, it, not about all the things you have to do and all the obligations, but we get to just focus on, on just taking a break and yeah. being, and just making memories and just enjoying. Yes. See, and I love that. I love getting together with family, especially, um, and close friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do like the occasional big party and see a bunch of people, but for me, it's those close relationships and I love to spend that extra time with them. So yeah. giving, giving myself permission that, Hey, I don't have to attend every social or, event. Or, you know, like Tracy, yeah. the other thing is uh, in, it's a digital age. Send a text to like the people that, you know, you would like to maybe get together with that you don't see maybe more than once every couple of years or something. Send them a text in December and say, Hey, you know, Merry Christmas. It's I've, I'm thinking about you. Let's put something on the calendar for January, February. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's and a just great kind idea. of make some connections. Yes, so. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. So, okay, so we've simplified our calendar. We've uh -huh. simplified our decorating. What else can we do? All right. Okay, so this is about style. My okay. with my simple lifestyle tips, I love to focus. I want my my people to feel great in their space. I want them to feel great in their style and also their schedule. December for me is huge on schedule. That's why I started with schedule, but style yeah. is last. And and so for events and you have people, if you're one of those people that feels like you have to go shop and have show up for Christmas Eve, even if it's just with family with a new outfit or, yeah. you know, you're, or you're like, dressing your kids like for a holiday, like service or, yeah. you know, something, any event. Uh, I I just I don't even believe in dressing for events. I mean, it's like look in your closet, wear something basic that makes you feel confident, yeah. and then add a little add a little sparkle. Very so nice. go go yeah. like get a new lip gloss, yeah. get a new pair of earrings, add something that just dresses it up a little more. Okay, get, get so you get more. something new, but you want to dress in something that you're comfortable yeah. in, and it's not necessarily to go get a whole new outfit. Although my mom would say. Well, I wore that last year and it's on Facebook now, so I can't get a, I can't get away with wearing the same thing this Wrap year. Wrap a scarf around it, sister. <laughs> there you go. Pull a, See, pull a shoulder right. down right. And, I mean, and go with it. Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody is looking. Nobody, you know, like nobody yeah. is really looking it, right. or no one really cares. Yeah, it, that it's is really true. our own problem, right? That, that it's our really, own thing. That it's is true. Own. We And so we do. We feel focus good. on those feel things. Feel good, yes. uh, you know, with like this, with the outfit and the style, uh, very like, an all black outfit looks real is really classy. So just yeah. add, you know, some sparkly earrings and you're done. 
There you the go. same thing with any neutral. Like whatever your color is that you feel the most confident in, you probably own it. Keep yeah. it simple. Wear a pair of heels and just, you know, roll with it a little bit. There you go. All right. So it can be very simple. We don't have to um, – we don't have to make the holidays overwhelming. So from what we do with our schedule, decorating our homes, even the way we dress, we can just keep it simple. And like you said, the, the focus and the, the primary goal is to find the joy and enjoy the season. Yeah. Do so. less for less stress. Yes. I yeah. like that. Do less for less stress. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, well, thank you so much. Anything else yeah. that we should know about this holiday season? Are you, uh, yeah. you you got your calendar all cleared uh, and you're ready? I, yeah, <laughs> you know, like my, my personal thing that my kids and I started last year is we have an elf party. And so we oh. spend, we go really big and we decorate with like the paper chains and the paper snowflakes and we spend time all in December making making it like the movie Elf and yeah. then we have a viewing party and we eat all the things oh, in the movie. Oh, that's It's a, like a complete oh, it's a complete it's like, candy fest. It's kind of like, like with what is syrup in the spaghetti and the whole like Like you do your own version of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, yes, but you do it with Elf. But it's for Elf. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. You know, so create like that's that. another yeah. thing, you know, create your own uh, you know, I'm a traditionalist, but yeah. I'm also open to new things. And yes. you don't have to do the traditional things every year. Right. Maybe it's every other year. Right. It's and it's fun. So, it's fun, right? To add something something different in or maybe your personal tradition is something that is not um ordinary or something that you yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah. I love that. Oh, I can't so imagine looking just forward. eating syrup, but my son would love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> and the two liter so, of Coke. So yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just think like <laughs> ah, like inflammation, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But so much fun and so many great memories. So yeah. I'm sure you get some great pictures too. Like to Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. So well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in and joining us today, mm-hmm. Holly. Thank you for your tips. Um, I appreciate you and I'm looking forward to having you on. You'll be back again in January and then each month after that in the new year. So I'm excited to have you on. So If you loved Holly's tips and the information that she has, be sure to tune in. Um, She'll be joining us the third Tuesday of every month starting in January. So, Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining. Thank you all for tuning in for Tea with Tracy. We'll see you next Tuesday at 12.